Hey, y'all, buckle up for some big news out of Dallas. Picture this. With the Cowboys gearing up for a powerhouse season, eyes are on some key players who could shape their future. Imagine a seasoned quarterback, fresh off an MVP caliber year, facing contract talks that could change the game. But that's not all. There's buzz about defensive stars ready to dominate the field, setting the stage for an electrifying season. And hold on to your hats, because rumors are swirling about potential trades that could shake up the league. Get ready to dive deep into Cowboys country, where every move counts. This season is shaping up to be one for the history books. Don't miss a minute of the action. Hey y'all, let's dive into some news about Dallas. So, the Philadelphia Eagles might be eyeing a former Cowboys starter, Connor Williams, as a potential addition to their roster. According to CBS Sports' Brian Diardo, Williams could be a solid option for the Eagles. They're fresh off losing Jason Kelsey, one of their all-time best, to retirement. Kelsey, a six-time All-Pro and seven-time Pro Bowler, hung up his cleats after 13 impressive seasons. Diardo points out that while Cam Jurgens might step up to fill Kelsey's big shoes, bringing in Williams could be a safer bet. With 77 starts in his NFL career, Williams has the chops to bring some serious competition for the Eagles' starting center spot. This seems like a no-brainer, especially since Jason Kelsey, one of the greatest centers in American football history, just retired. Sure, Cam Jurgens might do the job, but snagging Williams would give the Eagles a proven veteran in the mix. ESPN's Adam Schefter notes that the 27-year-old Williams is generating a lot of buzz in free agency. Connor Williams, who used to play for the Cowboys and Dolphins, is back in action after knee surgery cut his last season short. This fella is eyeing a comeback and chatting with several teams about where he'll be suited up come 2024, according to Schefter. He's looking to lock in his new gig before training camp kicks off. Williams kicked off his career with the Cowboys in 2018, starting as a left guard. He held that spot through the 2021 season before heading over to the Miami Dolphins in 2022. Down in Miami, he switched things up and took on the role of starting center, showing up for all 26 games until an ACL tear sidelined him towards the end of 2023. Now, even though the Eagles have a solid left guard in Landon Dickerson, who's been holding it down for three years, Williams' versatility at both left guard and center could be a game-changer if someone gets hurt. Despite only playing nine games last season, Williams had a standout year. Pro Football Focus gave him an 86.5 offensive grade and a stellar 90.5 run-blocking grade. Among all the full-time players at his position, he was second-best in both offensive and run-blocking grades. All right, y'all, let's talk about what's going down in Philly. Now, the Eagles are looking to grab Williams, but they ain't the only ones eyeing him. According to Schefter, there's a bunch of teams in the mix. Snag Jim Williams might just be the safest bet the Eagles can make to fill Kelsey's shoes. Now, Jurgens, he's played 11 games at guard last season, but he's yet to take the center stage, literally. Back in his college days at Nebraska, he was the man in the middle. Pro Football Focus says he got a 63.0 offensive grade, a 55.0 pass blocking grade, and a 62.9 run blocking grade. Not exactly blowing us away, but decent enough for a lineman. Philly ain't had the best luck, losing five of their last six games to wrap up the 2023 season. They need all the solid players they can get. Bringing Williams on board could really help the Eagles and Jalen Hurts kick off 2024 on the right foot. Switching gears to the Kansas City Chiefs, things ain't looking easy for Kelvin Joseph at the 2024 training camp. This fella, who's been with the Dallas Cowboys, Miami Dolphins, and Seattle Seahawks, is fighting to keep his NFL dreams alive. The Chiefs have a strong group of homegrown cornerbacks, so Joseph's got a tough road ahead. But hey, he's not throwing in the towel just yet. I ain't throwing in the towel, Joseph hollered to his old fans on June 20th. This shout-out popped up about a month before Chiefs camp kicks off, giving the former Kentucky standout another shot to prove his worth. Getting on this KC squad ain't no walk in the park. Joseph showed some promise during spring drills after signing a reserve-slash-future deal with the team back in January, but he's got a tough road ahead. The Chiefs have snagged nine defensive backs in the last three drafts, and most of them have already made a name for themselves. 
This group features CBs like Trent McDuffie, Joshua Williams, Jalen Watson, Nazee Johnson, and Nick Jones, plus safeties Brian Cook and Jalen Hicks, and hybrid players Shamari Connor and Kamal Haddon. So, Joseph's not just learning a new playbook, he's gotta outperform guys the KC Brass handpicked. Now, maybe if the Dallas Cowboys had their eye on him back in 2021, Joseph would have been part of America's team instead. There's a reason why GM Brett Veach and DC Steve Spagnolo decided to take a chance on the 6 feet 1 inch corner. He's a bit of a long shot to make the final 53 man roster in 2024, but stranger things have happened. Drafted 44th overall by the Cowboys, Joseph played in 29 games over two years, including playoffs, and started in three of them. He hasn't picked off his first NFL pass yet, but with Dallas, he's already shown he's got what it takes. This fella racked up four pass defenses, forced a fumble, and even snagged a recovery. Pro Football Focus gave Joseph a solid 73.0 coverage grade in his rookie year, and the stats back it up. He kept receivers at bay, allowing just a 46.7% catch rate and a 54.6 passer rating. No touchdowns allowed, and he hardly ever got flagged, just once in 2021. Plus, he held his own against the run with eight key stops, a tackle for loss, and a low missed tackle rate of 7.1%. But in his second year, things went south in coverage. Now, let's talk about this wild prediction, the Dallas Cowboys trading Dak Prescott to the Las Vegas Raiders. It sounds crazy, right? But think about it. The Cowboys have got an MVP caliber quarterback and an all-pro wide receiver, everything lined up for a big win this year. Their pass rush is among the best in the NFL. But there's a lot on the line. Coach Mike McCarthy's in his final contract year, and Jerry Jones hasn't given him an extension. That 1-3 playoff record isn't cutting it for anyone. Plus, big names like Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and Micah Parsons are all up for major contract renewals. This season could be make or break for America's team. Prescott's about to snag a contract that'll make your jaw drop with its total cash, yearly payout, and guaranteed bucks. The Cowboys have been clear as a Texas sky, they want to lock down their QB, but nothing's set in stone just yet. Meanwhile, over in the NFL, Jared Goff and Trevor Lawrence are raking in over $50 million a year. Lawrence's deal with the Jaguars, a whopping five-year, $275 million contract, has him earning $55 million annually, matching Joe Burrow's paycheck with the Bengals. Now, Prescott's got the skills to put him ahead of Lawrence, no question. So, it's only natural he's eyeing an even bigger payday. Whether the Cowboys can or will meet his demands is still up in the air. To his credit, Prescott's been showing up for Dallas offseason workouts without a fuss, even while the contract talks are ongoing. That doesn't mean the deal will be inked before the season kicks off, though. No matter what, Prescott's gonna play, and if he keeps up his performance, he'll just keep driving up his value. Plus, thanks to his current contract, the Cowboys can't slap a franchise tag on him. When free agency hits, any team can snatch him up, and Dallas just has to cross their fingers that he picks their deal. If he heads into the regular season without a fresh contract, the buzz about him leaving the Cowboys will only get louder. Should Dallas miss out on the NFL playoffs by the trade deadline, one analyst thinks the Cowboys might just trade him away. The Las Vegas Raiders have popped up as a possible landing spot. The odds might be close, but I reckon the Eagles are the clear favorites in the NFC East. They've got too much firepower to stay down, while Dallas seems set to slide back. If that happens, the Cowboys might decide it's time to part ways with Prescott, who's only led them to two playoff wins and thrown four picks in their last two postseason games. It's rare to see quarterbacks move midseason, but the pieces seem to be in place here. So, Cowboys fan, what's your take on the Dak Prescott situation? Drop your thoughts in the comments.